Hey guys, what's going on? Today we have a Hunter Robbins and Myers original ceiling fan. This particular one is from 1982, is in antique brass and features the isolation ring and came with the genuine Robbins and Myers light kit you see on it. Glass is not original. It wasn't even my original idea, but it was the only shade that fit. So we're here and it looks better than without a shade. So yeah. It's got pecan blades, the down rod, I don't even know what color it is, like galvanized or something, didn't come with a canopy either. But hey, it's an original and for $30, you might as well get it. So go ahead and get you the close up. The pull chain fobs are also original on this fan. You'll see them better in a minute. As you can see here, I'm using the modern U-bolt, obviously. There's the tag. I believe that this tag dates it to 82 based off of reading the numbers on the tag backwards, I think is what I saw and how to date them. So you can see here the blades, let me get that in focus better. There we go. This thing really does not want to focus very well. Don't know why. But yeah, there's that. Here's the light kit. Oop. Oh, the dang thing bumped into it on my tripod. Um, thumb screws are just a little wacky it's just the fitter and yeah this like i said the shade is an original there's a gap because this uses little isolators here to stop it from humming it came with a few more that are supposed to go in there but just these ones seem to do the trick and it gets a lot harder the more you throw on so fan has the little typical ball and the like it has this nice tassel here it's the same tassel that was on the uh uh, whatever it is, the Galaxy, which is on the floor right now. Um, yeah, uh, that's what the, the t one tassel came from. Anyways, this fan, unlike the other white original, is two speeds. I don't know if you'll be seeing this video first, but if, um, you, you did hear that right, the white RM original from 1980 is three speed. I'll ex it, it's explained in the video, but I'm going to go ahead now, turn the light on. I, I threw an LED on here because why not? I just gotta go make sure I get it in focus. I just realized that one of my old videos I filmed of the white and brass premium was completely out of focus, so that video will never be coming. I gotta totally refilm it. The blades are warped, so I'm not gonna bother with that for a while. But yeah, there's the light kit. It sort of gives me hotel original vibes, which is, I think, why I don't mind having this light kit instead. Like I said, it's two speed, so we'll start it off on the first speed here which is the low, which is more like medium. May need a teeny little bit of oil, but I don't know, it seems to run fine. This one will probably be a little permanent fan for a few weeks. Said that about the Galaxy, but then that moved to the floor because I, I had other stuff to do. But yeah, there it goes on low. And a little bit of motor hum, but not bad. The isolation ring definitely shuts the fan up. Doesn't make it very loud. This fan also, I totally forgot to mention, features the a little bit more uncommon radial faceplate, which is basically the exact same thing as the usual faceplate, except it does not feature the round vent. That is like the only difference, I think. And yeah, this fan was owned by a former Robbins and Myers employee. Uh, he, he worked there uh, from about 1977-78 till it folded and the Hunter got bought. So that was pretty interesting. So I know this fan was well maintained. And here's high speed. It's got a really awesome noise to it. pretty darn strong too and any background noise you hear is the 3d printer i just can't wait for it to stop so i'm just doing it this way right now as you can imagine from an original it hauls butt it is very strong i really do love the look of this fan even without the canopy and the proper color down right i still love it if i find a canopy someday for cheap i'll definitely get it though same with the down rod, if I can find a matching one. It's definitely a good air mover, that's for sure. I love these old originals. I'm gonna go ahead now, turn it off, let it coast. 
as I'm recording this, it's been about a week and a half, two weeks, maybe three weeks since we found out that Hunter's been bought out again. I, but the new catalog has me extremely concerned. And I'm sure that by now you will have heard about all of this, heard me talk about all of this at least. But yeah, the original isn't even in the catalog. It puts it put the Casablanca name on the cover, but there's nothing Casablanca in the book. And it doesn't even feature the full line of products. It shows about 30 out of 250 of the products for ceiling fans. I don't know. Hunter's got me really, really concerned. I don't know whether this book is supposed to be a supplement they just called a catalog. I don't know, but it's got me concerned. That's why I like to stick to these old hunters here, because you can't go wrong with them. Most of my, most of the hunter in my collection is original, or it's all old stuff. And then obviously I got the the low profile pirates, and then obviously I got the Auberville and the Auberge, which are a bit newer, but those came with the house. The fans, all the fans that from Hunter that I've purposely purchased myself have all been old ones. New Hunter just isn't my thing. Some of the designs are cool, but that's about it for them. Where these old Robins and Myers fans, you can't go wrong with them. They're great. They move tons of air. Granted, some of them vibrate the whole house like the white one does, but eh, still great fans. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.